Gerard Mayo. And that is the way you pronounce it. I had to look it up to make sure. Gerard Mayo is the correct. Gerard is the correct pronunciation of his name. And you're asking yourself, well, who is Gerard Mayo? Well, Gerard Mayo attended the University of Tennessee from 2004 to 2007, where he played linebacker and was drafted 10th overall in 2008 by the New England Patriots. Um, yeah, played eight seasons, all with the Patriots. Uh, you know, two-time Pro Bowler, Super Bowl champ. Uh, he wasn't hired by New England though until 2019. I guess he left football for a little bit after his 2015 season. 2019, he was hired as the inside linebackers coach, came back to New England, um, and, you know, just coached on the defense for the last few years. Um, he does become, this is kind of an interesting thing, he is now the youngest head coach. He passes Sean McVay. He is 37 years old, so he is now officially the youngest head coach in the NFL, so good good for you, Mr. Gerard Mayo. Um, the biggest thing, I think, with this with this particular site, you brought a guy in-house, a guy who's played his whole career and coached here, he knows the culture, you know, and I think that's the thing is he's going to start a new one. I guess we all know Belichick left, um, you know, and it's up to Gerard to kind of bring them from the rise, from, like a phoenix, rise from the ashes here, because uh, we all know how bad of a year New England had. And, you know, the quarterback play just hasn't been there. Because, I mean, he he's inheriting a top 15 defense. They went from 11 to 15, though, in the last year. And a lot of the reason was because their offense just couldn't do anything. The opposition had a starting field position of the 32-yard line, like an average of the 32-yard line. So the defense was always on their heels. They were always pushed back. You know, in comparison, they always started on like the 24. So their average was 24-something, and the, they gave up, you know, they were always, the other opposition was always on the 32 starting. So that really did, you know, defense played a lot. But, I mean, he like I said, he inherits a great defense that's anchored, obviously, by Christian Barmer on the line. Uh, Anthony Jennings also on that defensive line. You know, Christian Gonzalez was hurt after in week four, so he gets him back for this year. He should be back from injury. Jonathan Jones is another corner in the safeties, Jabril Peppers and Kyle Duggar. So he's inheriting a good defense. We all know that New England needs offense. And, of course, we all know New England has the third pick. So you got to imagine they're getting a quarterback. I mean, their biggest needs are probably quarterback, receiver, and offensive line. So with your defense, you know, kind of pretty – Again, a top 10 to 15 defense is not bad in the NFL, especially when you're returning a lot of your starters from the year before. So, I mean, the biggest thing – oh, t okay, Handy, you find – okay, very good. Given their mm -hmm. quarterback – yeah, the coffee preference. You're hilarious. This guy. This guy, folks. What are we going to do with this guy? I'll be here also. I know you will. Tip the waitress. Try the veal. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, but, but seriously, yeah, and I think, you know – this is the thing about this. I like, I really think this could be good because I think New England needed to start over like with a new coach, with a new, th you know, just the whole, the whole thing, an overhaul of what was going on before it yeah. just wasn't working. You know, Belichick needed to go. You're bringing a guy again, who's been in new England. He knows the fan base. He knows all of that. He's been with the team for, you know, the last four years. So this, I think this is a great hire for new England. And again, you know, you got the three pick and also the, they, I, I didn't realize this. I had to look this up. They're actually third in terms of cap space. They have $68.4 million that they could spend. So not only can they draft well here with the third pick and, and a couple of others, but they got $68 million to play with in the free agent market. So I really feel like he's in a good position to take over this team, to get them in a position to win more than three games this year or this next, this upcoming season. So, yeah, I, I really like the signing of Gerard Mayo, and I really hope that, uh, you know, again, I, I don't like to hate on anybody. You know, I know New England was – Always the evil empire when it was Belichick and Brady. But, uh, you know, it's a new era there in New England. So, <laughs> thank you, Tina. So, again, Gerard Mayo is your new coach of the New England Patriots. And uh, I wish him the best. Good luck for Gerard Mayo.